It's a quieter week than we're used to around here, and maybe for you too. But we've still got some news to fill you in on. Before we get into it, happy holiday week from Hill TV. I'm Jamal Simmons, and this is Why You Should Care. Cities are cracking down on homelessness. The National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty published a report showing cities in both urban and rural areas are moving to restrict homelessness by enacting anti-homeless laws. The organization began tracking policies about homelessness in 2006, and in the years since, it found that as the rate of homeless people increase, so has the number of laws passed to prevent them from doing so. A 213% hike, to be exact. 64 laws have been passed in the last 13 years, but 22 of them passed in the last two. A major target of municipalities aiming to curb people from occupying their streets is vehicle dwelling, meaning people who live in their cars. With more people being forced out of their homes because they simply can't afford rent, many have taken up living in their cars and RVs rather than going to shelters. Five cities also passed laws banning free food in public spaces. Folks sleeping outside, loitering, and panhandling have also been targeted. I guess whoever drafted some of these laws forgot that courts have ruled panhandling is protected by the First Amendment under free speech. As if these rules don't burden those experiencing homelessness, some homeless people are being rounded up and relocated entirely. In New York City, Mayor Bill de Blasio's administration thought it would be a good idea to take homeless people from its streets and send them off across the bridge to New Jersey and other parts of the country. New York City's program was implemented in 2017. A report found that de Blasio's, quote, one-time special assistance program moved local families to 373 cities around the U.S. and gave them a year of rent money. Jersey isn't having it. Newark officials filed a lawsuit to stop the program, which led to the dumping of vulnerable people in the streets in uninhabitable conditions. De Blasio backed off and temporarily paused the program as officials discussed what to do next. On the national front, President Trump just appointed Robert Marbutt to be the director of the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness. Marbutt has a background in providing consulting services to cities addressing homelessness. It's going to be up to him to bring together 19 federal agencies that deal with the issue and coordinate with local officials. While Trump is being proactive in getting the job filled, advocates are concerned that Marbutt, whose strategies have entailed attaching conditions like good behavior to receiving housing and services, might not actually get people into housing, which is the ultimate goal. Advocates fear that under Marbutt, taxpayer dollars will be put into creating large shelters that are more like prison than actual housing. Why you should care, this is a serious problem. While homelessness has gone down by 15% in the US, half a million people were homeless each night in 2018. Rents are going up, and while job numbers are improving, wages aren't. So people who face a financial bind are left with little options, but sometimes to turn their vehicles, shelters, or the streets. Moreover, the legal consequences of some of these laws entail fines, losing their vehicles, and potential jail time, which then means they end up further into homelessness. These laws aim at cleaning up the streets, but in turn end up harming people who are barely clinging on. There must be a better alternative to what appears to be a vicious cycle. Thanks for watching Hill TV on YouTube. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we post new videos and head to thehill.com for all the latest political news.